Hi everyone, July 29, 2018, for all of my subscribers located in California, I sure hope that you are remaining safe if you are in the area of all of these fires. Yeah, California is, is burning down. I'm going to start this video with this video it's only 30 seconds i am here preparing to go out once more mendocino county is on fire again after the incident that happened last year and people lost their homes and lots of property the fire is back on and i've just been requested to pack my things wherever i am to move away from here if you have family out here please it's time you need to prepare space because it's getting worse here. Okay, I just received a comment from a subscriber, Patty. I'm so sorry. Hey, Carol, no one is covering the Lake County fires. We have two fires which have merged into one, the Ranch Fire and the River Fire. I got some pretty incredible pictures yesterday of the flames on the mountains. In total, these two fires it has burnt approximately 25,000 acres. It's only 5% contained, and it's making its way to Lake County area. Um, and like the Cranston fire, they're reporting only five homes that have been destroyed. Uh, she didn't write that, I'm sorry. I'm interjecting with some information that I got from articles, but they evacuated the hospital. Seven firefighters have died. And she received a comment, seven firefighters link. I tried to find it. Listen, um, what is, yeah, I could imagine somebody writing something like this and seeing Seven firefighters have died. They're not able to verify it, so they think everything the person's writing is a lie. That's not the way one's brain should work if it's a healthy brain. We can hear things from people, believe them, and then transfer that information out. Um, it could be true, and we're not getting any information about that. Everybody seems to be stuck on the car fire. I didn't even know. You know, if I did know about these fires, then I have forgotten the fires. So much is going on. The scale of destruction right now is so vast. I haven't even begun to look into the flash flooding that was taking place on the Northeast. In the Northeast. And you know what? Pennsylvania areas, they got pummeled over and over and over again. And as you listen to, you know, videos posted by people, you will hear. What are the, again, again, again. And there's, it, it's so, it's really unbelievable what is taking place. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. They may not be releasing that information about the firefighters who have died. Um, but it doesn't matter. In, in, well, it matters if they died. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying in terms of what Patty is facing. Her skies are brown. She has much ashfall. The two fires are very close to her. And she's extremely nervous for good reason. Can you please cover this story too? I, I didn't ignore it. I just, it's really hard to take in what is taking place. And yesterday I posted the video trying to get the full picture of all of the wildfires, including Canada, and missed these fires. So, oh my God, Patty, I hope to God nothing happens. 
and you remain safe. L look at this. If you smell smoke in the Bay Area, it is not from the car fire. Two new fires are burning in Mendocino County. The larger, more dangerous blaze is the river fire. Uh, well, the river fire exploded across 4,000 acres near the community of Hopeland. Mandatory evacuations ordered for areas north of the highway. Evacuations all over the place. This is really Lake County's grow, 24,000 acres, complex fires in Mendocino. The two fires have merged, and they are heading for Lake County. So, Patty, oh my God. All right, I. I certainly will have you on my mind and hope to God that everything is okay and please just leave comments periodically letting us know that you are okay. The evacuations that are taking place in Mendocino County in Lake County I will link below to this article that was just posted. Yes, a lot of destruction is taking place guys. A lot. A whole lot. Wildfires in Mendocino and Napa counties raged into the evening Saturday, destroying structures and prompting evacuations as firefighters struggled to get the upper hand on the stubborn blazes. The ranch and river fires west of Clear Lake combined Saturday into the 14,000 acre Mendocino complex that crossed into Lake County and threatened the towns of Lakeport and Upper Lake, officials with the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection said. Sutter Lakeside Hospital in Lakeport began evacuating patients around 4.15 p.m. because of the threat from flames as several neighborhoods east of town were under mandatory evacuation orders. Patients at the Level 4 Trauma Center were taken to nearby hospitals, said Morgan Wells, a spokeswoman for Sutter Lakeside. Just south of Lake Berryessa in Napa County, a 150-acre wildfire exploded in the Berryessa Highlands neighborhood burning several homes and forcing residents to flee for their lives. Now playing, National Weather Service Science Officer for the Greater San Francisco Bay Region Dr. Warren Blyer explains how pyrocumulus clouds can form over wild... Yeah. These fires, they're creating their own weather, they're creating their own clouds. And... All right. Um, you know, as I was playing that, I thought, my God, these fires exploding, exploding, exploding. And I imagine that I, that Patty already is under evacuation and gone and may not be able to see this video. That's what we're hearing from an awful lot of people. You know, they have minutes or an hour to pack up and leave. Even as firefighters began making progress on the steel fire, the apocalyptic nature of the inferno is taking its toll. I've never seen it like this before. It's just, here we go again. Evacuation orders are nothing new for Stu Williams. He stayed behind to protect his home, but seeing part of his neighborhood up in flames, upsetting to say the least. This is a, a small community. We know pretty much know one another, and uh, it's just very devastating and very sad. A total of eight homes damaged or destroyed. The fire broke out at around 4.30 this afternoon. Emergency crews rushed to put out the flames, attacking it from the ground and air. We were able to get enough firefighters in here and aircraft in here quickly to, uh, to hold it to that number, even though one structure is too many. Around 300 residents of Berryessa Highlands and Pleasure Cove forced to evacuate. Just my kids, just the pets, nothing else. They didn't care about anything else. It was, it was really close. I don't know if my house is there. The cause still unknown, but the dry brush and heat helped fuel conditions. We're accustomed to it is the new normal, but growing up here, you know this is what you get. Part of the lake had to be closed off, which meant boaters had to pack up and leave. It's a bummer, but I, I feel sorry for the people who have lost homes more than anything. It's a bummer. It's a bummer. It's the new normal. See how quickly people 
see how quickly people just accept whatever their authority figures are telling them. And these fires are so not normal. And if people just did a little bit of research, they would find out that something is very wrong here. They have the same characteristics over and over and over again. Houses burn, cars melt, and all of the vegetation around the home intact. Nothing, no, plastic, garbage bins don't even melt. But the home leveled like a bomb hit it. Like a bomb hit it. And you know what? I'm listening to that and I'm thinking, okay. Is this the Lake County fire? Is this, you know, I'm like, it's hard to keep all of these fires, you know, clear and what is taking place um, because so much destruction is happening right now. This is the river fire. Um, you can even see that something is very wrong um, as you watch what is taking place right here. Look at how is that wind, they talk about the erratic behavior of these fires. Look at this. Something is so fueling that. Is it all of the nanoparticulates, the aluminum, barium, lithium? Um, is it something else? But these are not normal fires. They talk about how it's global warming, it's climate change. My God, if people just did five minutes of research, they would find out that they're being lied to. But no, they insist on accepting all of the lies. That, is, that, that behavior is killing us. Um, I want to... First, I, I have to pause you. I've got to bring up one video that I liked. Hang on. I'm going to link below to everything, but I just liked this video, plaintruth.info's Cal Fire Lies, Directed Energy Weapons, Agenda 21, Implementation. And I really, I really hope that you try. Just, just look, focus on what you believe is the best thing to do. Focus on your own behavior and get your action going, cause a ripple effect, but forget about the result of the ripple effect. Yeah, um, it's hard to do that because we do get an awful lot of flack, to say the least. But what you are doing is right and what they are doing is wrong. Don't let them change you. Don't let them their bad behavior affect you. Don't let them push you into a corner and silence you. Please, so circulate the information. But in this video, the plain truth, you know, he brings out, and these were the fires last year, but he brings out a lot of information that counters the official narrative spoken on mainstream media about these fires and all the wind and all of the uh, the weather conditions and when you do some research you find out what they are saying is a lie what they are saying is a lie so out of 170 fires these three they said were caused by tree clearance faulty clearance by pg and e all four fires were caused by branches or trees that had fallen into PG&E lines. The four fires in Butte, Nevada counties were among more than 170 fires that broke across Northern California in October. 170 fires all started combustion simultaneously, the middle of the night, no storms the day before, no fire warnings whatsoever, no winds until the night started and they caused all this damage. It's taken Cal Fire nearly nine months to come out and say trees fell on utility poles and that's what caused the fire. Uh, and then they came out a few days later. This is on uh, June 8th, so about a week later, and they talked about 12 more fires here coming out. 
Cal Fire said Friday that equipment owned and operated by pg e ignited 12 wire fi wildfires that raged in hot, dry weathers and high winds and charged hundreds of square miles. Flames were ignited by power equipment, but investigators found no evidence the utility company had violated state regulations. Hmm. 170 fires, folks. Remember that, okay? Now, here we have another one. This is from October 14, 2017. Uh, four hours of the tub fire made a horrific 12-mile run from Calistoga in the northern edge of Napa Valley into the dense city neighborhood of West Santa Rosa. Now, if you know the area here, it's pretty hilly. It goes up and down. So this fire came across in 2 a.m. The frosted firestone fires propelled across Highway 101 across the six-lane highway, folks. This fire did. It traveled at three miles per hour burning up an acre a minute while spewing burning embers a half mile or more ahead, forcing entire neighborhoods to flee in the middle of the night. Quote, uh, Eric Hoffman, retired fire chief with Cal Fire, said for a fire to move that fast is incredible. Yes, it's also unbelievable because how could a fire move through residential areas at three miles an hour, forest fires, next winds that came out of nowhere. Okay, right, um, so over, you can... Click on the link and watch. He he also talks about the wind, and I can't really remember, but you know there were look the weather conditions just were not what we were listening to for mainstream media reporters. But these fires, they all have the same characteristics. But when they talk about these winds, please. Use common sense when you're watching the footage of these fires. Homes are completely and utterly leveled. These fires roaring through, taking out only the houses, the cars, melting plastic uh, garbage bins, not even melted, the streets pristine, clean, but the winds they're claiming are so high and so strong. You would see ash all over. You would see debris all over the streets. But you're not. All right. Um, you know, it, 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 it gets painful. It gets really painful to continually state the obvious over and over and over again, and people just, I don't know what the hell is going on. I want to bring your attention, those that don't know about this video, those that do, remind you, this interview that A Plain Truth did with the fire captain, John Lord, who was saying, no, these fires are not normal. It's not the new normal, the global warming, climate change, hysteria. It is a religion. It is not the truth, what you were being told. And the heat waves, the droughts, the dry conditions, all manufactured by the technology that man is using. And in this video right here, John Lord, who was a fire captain, he came out and stated, these are not normal fires. Something is very wrong. And I have posted, owning the weather, the Wyoming tornadoes, the earthquakes, heat waves, the documents, the patents, the papers. And this video, heat waves, Already and all you need to know that it's temperature modification induced by man. You see all of this, it's black carbon dust. They can use black carbon dust to create atmospheric heating, induce higher temperatures. None of what we are living is natural, okay? And I sure hope that people begin to wake up and stop denying the obvious. Something is very wrong with our world today. So you've got to look into it. If you don't look into it, you may be the next to be destroyed. 
Though at this point, even if you look into it, you may be destroyed. Why is that? Because we have too many people who cannot face the truth. And the acceptance of lies is just, it's just easier for them. So, Patty, I please, you know, keep letting us know that you're okay. And to all of my subscribers, please keep Patty in your prayers. I'll link below to all of the information.